You can share this. This is how you share a file with others. Let's dive into the share settings. When I click on the share button, share with others, it's going to give me options to share with a specific email address. I can do that, type in a specific email address and click done and it will share it with that person. Or I can copy a link and send that link to a certain person. You do need to make sure that the link is set to the settings that you want before you do that. So click on change to anyone with the link and you will dictate who can access this link. Right now it's set to anyone with this link. So anyone who copies and pastes this big long link right here, they can go to that link and view it. I can change it and allow them to comment on it. I can change it and allow them to edit it if I want them full. That would give them full access to the document. Viewing would allow them just to read it. Commenter would allow them to make comments and give insight. Maybe you're collaborating on a on a essay or collaborating on a project. They could do that, but they wouldn't actually edit the document. They would just make comments. Edit, full access. They could delete everything. They could do whatever to it. So be careful who you share that with. Anyone with the link, this here you can change and you can restrict it from anyone with the link. That's the easiest way to share it. Anyone with the link means that they just click the link, you copy and paste it, send it to them. Restricted means you have to actually put their Gmail account, their Google account in here for them to have access to that link. So that's more security, but sometimes it's more of a pain in the butt because you have to actually put people in one by one. So that is how you share a document with other people on Google Docs. There's actually another way. You can click that button right there and do the same thing I just showed you that we did within file. Thank you.